Adding sound to a Blue Pullman? How difficult can that be? Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome back to Flint Hills. I managed to purchase this lovely Pullman set from Graham Farish, and after running it, I decided it would be a great model to add sound to. So in this video, I explain how I went about and installed sound to this model. So there are many companies out there offering sound decoders for your models. However, the one which I prefer, which is my preference, is called YouTube's. What I like about YouTube's is that is their simple reference, help, resource and guides to all the model trains that they provide sound decoders for. And so I looked at their uh, installation guide for the Blue Pullman which gave me great advice on what sound decoder I was going to need and how I was going to actually achieve installing the sound into this model. So having looked at the various sound decoders and speakers that would fit into this model, I went onto their website again and looked at the class DMU Blue Pullman in their web shop and I selected for the Zimo MX500N, the 6 pin direct plugin, and also for their YouTube Sugarcube number 7. So on their project variation page um, I just chose a, a single um, decoder uh, and just as the traditional so I wasn't going for the active braking because I use um, automation software but in this area here is where you could choose if you want the uh, front and rear to have decoders as well so you could have sound at both ends I've just chosen to have sound at one end so after a few days this is what arrived in the post was this decoder sound decoder already blown with the blue Pullman sounds along with a stay alive capacitor. In addition it came with the YouTube Sugarcube 7 which I also ordered. Both ends of the Farish Pullman are actually power cars so there's a motor in each end. So as I was only installing one sound decoder and speaker which end was I'm going to install it in. Underneath both power cars they are labelled a and F so you can actually get all the coaches and everything all in the correct alignment so I decided to install the sound decoder in the front motor car uh, A. So using my little plastic blade I inserted the blade between the coach body and the chassis at the back and just lifted um, it away just very gently. With the back end now loose I could slowly pull the body away from the chassis and once unclipped I could remove the entire body away from the chassis. With the body shell off I removed the three screws which were holding down the printed circuit board and then completely lifted the circuit board uh, well away from the body, the chassis. So with the printed circuit board out of the way I could look to see where I was going to install the speaker and according to the YouTube's uh, website a good place to do this is right behind the seating and as you can see it doesn't quite fit in there so you have to make the modification as they recommend. I removed the seating from the chassis just to make the modifications uh, much easier to do. And with a sharp knife I cut away those small sections behind the seating area. And once those small bits of plastic were cut away I gave that a light sand and rub down and you can see you get a nice space now to install the speaker. I clipped the seating back into the chassis and added a piece of double sided sticky tape ready for the insertion of the speaker. And to make things easier for me I decided to install the two speaker wires from the decoder to the speaker at this point. So with the speaker wires connected to the speaker 
um, I pushed the speaker onto its double-sided sticky tape and as you can see it's a nice tidy fit behind there. I then put some capstan tape around the speaker to stop anything from shorting out and then he reinstalled the printed circuit board putting the three screws back. With all this reinstalled I simply pushed in the six pin decoder making sure I got the right way around and then went about hiding the wires. I also decided not to install the stay alive capacitor at this point. I just kept it very simple. With the wires all neatly tidied up inside it was just a simple case of clicking the body back onto the chassis. With the sound decoder and the speaker fitted into car A I then installed a normal Zimo decoder into the other end power car F. So with the sound decoder and the speaker installed it was time to test those sounds. And overall, I think that was a fairly easy install with a small modification for the speaker. Well, I'll leave you now with some running shots and we'll see with the sound. And thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers for now. Bye.